For years, the high-performance sports and action photography sector has felt like a duel between two dominant players, Sony's Lightning Fast A9 III and Canon's versatile EOS R3. While Nikon's Z9 has earned acclaim for its formidable capabilities, it has largely watched from the sidelines as Sony pushed the technological envelope, particularly with the introduction of its groundbreaking global shutter sensor. However, whispers growing louder since late 2023 suggest Nikon is not just sitting idly by, they may be gearing up to deliver a game-changing response. Meet the Nikon ZX, a rumored flagship camera enveloped in secrecy, but potentially poised to revolutionize the industry by incorporating a global shutter sensor. Could this be the defining moment where Nikon reclaims the crown in speed and performance? This isn't simply about launching another camera model. It's about Nikon possibly executing a strategic masterstroke, combining perfect timing with cutting-edge technology. The rumored Nikon ZX is said to be a flagship mirrorless camera explicitly designed to rival the likes of the Sony A9 III and Canon EOS R3, featuring a much-anticipated global shutter sensor. Reliable sources indicate that Sony Semiconductor may be supplying the sensor technology, the same type found in the Sony A9 III. Yet, Nikon's later entry into the market could allow them to implement improvements learned from previous products, potentially reducing costs and refining performance. At present, the ZX remains a highly secretive project, with only early prototype versions, box-shaped and far from final design, existing in controlled laboratory settings. These prototypes are handled exclusively by a select group of Nikon's top professional ambassadors, highlighting both the importance and sensitivity of this technology. The internal codename ZX-CX is known not to be the camera's final market name, serving instead as an internal identifier similar to past Nikon project codes. According to rumors, Nikon plans to distribute over 50 of these ZX prototypes to professional photographers worldwide for real-world testing by the first quarter of 2026. This stage is critical. It will validate performance, reveal any issues, and inevitably spark controlled leaks to the public, setting the stage for an anticipated commercial launch by the fourth quarter of 2026. This rumor gains further intrigue when considered alongside earlier whispers from late 2023 about a Nikon Z9H. Initially dismissed by many as mere reactionary speculation after Sony's A9 III announcement, the Z9H was described strikingly similarly, a speed-focused flagship with a global shutter sensor, but potentially with roughly half the resolution of the Z9. This matches Nikon's historical use of the H suffix to denote high-speed variants. The rise of the ZX rumor now strongly suggests that the Z9H wasn't just a baseless rumor, but rather an early concept or internal project that has since evolved into what is now being called the ZX. This implies Nikon has been researching and developing global shutter technology integration far longer than previously understood. The rationale behind Nikon's rumored move is compelling. Global shutter technology eradicates the rolling shutter distortion common in traditional sensors, which causes skewed vertical lines when capturing fast-moving or erratic subjects. This is a critical advantage in sports, wildlife and action photography where rapid motion is the norm. Additionally, a global shutter enables flash synchronization at all shutter speeds and simplifies high-speed video capture, adding to its appeal for professionals. That said, global shutter technology still carries a significant cost premium, as exemplified by Sony's A9 III launch price, near $6,000 in 2023 by 2024. However, Nikon has built a reputation for delivering excellent performance at a lower price point, as seen with their Z8 and Z9 flagships, which often match or surpass competitors while remaining more affordable. By waiting until 2026, Nikon likely aims to capitalize on a convergence of factors, reduced manufacturing costs for global shutter sensors, advancements in image processing power necessary to handle the unique data from such sensors, and more mature software algorithms to optimize performance. The goal appears to be delivering a global shutter flagship that doesn't just meet Sony's benchmark, but potentially exceeds it, all while offering a more competitive price. Imagine a camera with the rugged build quality, ergonomic excellence, and advanced subject detection of the Nikon Z9, enhanced by the flawless, distortion-free temporal capture that only a global shutter can provide. The prospect of such a device becomes an exciting reality for sports and action photographers craving precision and reliability in every frame. Beyond still photography, 
the ZX moniker has stirred rumors suggesting a broader ambition. Leaked photos showing high-end cinema cameras like the V-Raptor X and Komodo X equipped with native Nikon Z mounts have sparked speculation that the ZX could be more than just a stills camera. Might it represent the foundation of a new hybrid or modular system blending high-end cinematography with Nikon's renowned mirrorless technology? The inherent advantages of a global shutter for video, eliminating rolling shutter artifacts, make this possibility especially tantalizing. While definitive details remain elusive and some rumored leaks are contested, the combination of Nikon's recent acquisition of Red Digital Cinema and the ZX Chatter Fuel's hopes for an innovative convergence of Nikon's stills and cinema lines. If true, this could herald a new era where the boundaries between high-end photography and professional video capture blur significantly. Despite the excitement, many key details remain unknown and open to debate. What will the ZX's global shutter sensor resolution be? Early rumors about the Z9H suggested it might feature roughly half the pixel count of the Z9's 45.7 megapixels, potentially prioritizing speed and low light sensitivity over Xi resolution. However, technological advancements could allow Nikon to push these boundaries further. Other critical factors include how Nikon's image processor, likely an evolution of the powerful X-Speed 7 chip found in the Z9, will manage the unique demands of global shutter data. Global shutter sensors can present challenges such as increased noise or heat generation during sustained high-speed bursts and video recording. Battery life, heat dissipation, and autofocus performance under this new sensor paradigm are additional technical puzzles Nikon must solve. Meanwhile, Nikon's roadmap includes other anticipated releases like the Z63 and Zeus 73 which seem poised to strengthen the mid-range lineup ahead of any ZX debut. Where exactly will the ZX fit in this ecosystem? Will it serve as a direct successor to the Z9 or function as a specialized high-speed offshoot alongside potential future models like the Z92? The ZX name itself hints at a new product category, perhaps one focused on extreme speed or hybrid stills and video functionality. Is the Nikon ZX a guaranteed product? Far from it. The camera industry thrives on rumors, many of which never materialize or emerge quite differently than expected. However, the consistency of leaks over an extended period, detailed elements like a planned professional testing phase, logical alignment with Nikon's technological development, pricing strategy, and competitive necessity give this rumor unusual credibility. Nikon has demonstrated remarkable ambition since launching the Z system. The Z9 was a breakthrough, the ZF combined nostalgia with modernity, and the Z63 introduced important advancements. A global shutter flagship represents the next logical frontier, challenging, yes, but within reach. Whether the Nikon ZX becomes the ultimate high-speed photography tool or evolves into a versatile hybrid cinema camera, it could redefine Nikon's place in the market and push the industry forward. What are your thoughts on the Nikon ZX? Do you believe Nikon can deliver a global shutter camera that changes the game? Share your opinions and join the conversation in the comments. Thanks for reading.